what's going on everybody so let's do a little recap on the day today just when you thought the stock market couldn't get any more crazy it does okay i've been trading stock market now for a number of years i've seen the ups and downs i've been through the covid uh crash and then the 2020 uh rally i've seen pullbacks in the market dips in the market i've seen fake outs breakouts so forth and so forth today was just on another level okay so realistically starting from last week on friday uh we know we had that half day we had light volume according to a lot of people you would expect that your big institutional traders, bankers, retail traders, prop firms, you know, we're taking the weekend, the, the week off early. Um, that would explain for some of the significant pullbacks. Uh, we know that we had uh, President Biden talking. We had the news come out with the new variant. We had all sorts of stuff, possible travel restrictions, this, that, and the other. We had President Biden speak today. We had Jay Powell speak today. The market just absolutely screamed higher. One thing is that if you're a scalper or a day trader, you really can't have a bias, okay? You have to be open to trading both long and both short. I really, really, really screwed myself up today by having a neutral but more sell biased on the market. So as soon as I started to see the futures ramping up last night, I was already expecting a gap up, which confirmed. But what I was not expecting was just a continuation on the cues all day long, okay? I thought what was going to happen was we were going to gap up over this 20-day moving average here, start to come into this 5 and 10-day moving average at around 397, 398. I thought we were going to get stuffed into supply, and I thought the market was going to slowly start to roll back over into this 20-day moving average. So my game plan for the day was to let the first 30 minutes to an hour play out, let these stocks go ahead and rip higher. And then as they started to get come into supply, come into that resistance, I was looking to short the tops of those back down into this rising support. And hopefully with the help of the cues, have them kind of crumble down, uh, you know, through these levels here and retest this 20 day moving average. And that would get that follow through flush start. The day started off as planned with AMD with the, I took a play in AMD, completely ripped off of the gates, kind of came into a little bit of supply, started to pull back. My contracts did go into the money and I was looking for that follow through at the same time AMD had news come out about something about Tesla using their chips for the Model Y. The market continued to scream higher. The talks in the morning with uh, you know, the president and, and Jay Powell and everything, the market never looked back, okay? So I had to cut the trade. I ended up breaking even, lost a cup of coffee on it, nothing, minor paper cut, if if I could even call it a paper cut. Um, but, you know, so so we're coming into a, a spot here. Um, we're coming into a spot here at this 401.82 mark. This is going to be testing the upper channels range here, a little bit of supply here. So I'm going to probably expect this market to gap up again and put in that initial you know, 30 minute hour push out of the gates. Some st stocks finished extremely, extremely strong today. NVIDIA, AMD, um, AMAT, Qcom, uh, Coinbase, uh, Tesla had a phenomenal day today. Lucid had a phenomenal day today. There was a lot of stocks that Microsoft had a great day today. So there's a lot of stocks that, you know, put in some insane moves. So looking forward into tomorrow, November the 30th, okay? Here is what I'm going to be watching for. I'm definitely going to be watching for this 401, 401 and a half area on the triple Qs. If the market gaps up higher and we make that initial push, do we come into this zone here? Okay, do we come into this resistance? And do we break free and start to build above? And what I mean by build above is do we get over this 401, 402? back test this upper channel of around 401 and bounce off of that or do we come into 401 and do we start to have uh start to consolidate do we start to get choppy does it start to look weak do the future start to pull in if that's the case if i take any longs off the open or within the first hour to two hours of the market i will be looking to take profits or take my trades off the table at that point in time just due to the fact that if the triple q's do get rejected at this 401 402 area here it could start to pull in other stocks very very significantly especially with such a monster monster move that a lot of these stocks put in i mean for crying out loud nvidia put in an 18 dollar candle today 
Coinbase put in a $16 candle today. Tesla put in a $55 candle today. Can these stocks go higher? Of course they can. Is the Santa Claus rally here early? Maybe that is yet to, you know, we are yet to find out. Um, you know, we could definitely, uh, most definitely be ramping up into the end of the year here with a lot of these plays, but I need to get that confirmation. So right now I am still on scalp mode i am still watching the big levels on the triple q's if tomorrow we do get a close over 40182 over 402 i will be highly 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 confident that the majority of these stocks start getting pulled up some of these stocks that have been sitting at the bottom of the range um, i would expect these to start coming up and testing uh you know testing some of these moving averages that are above and in, in kind of play it from there However, if we do get rejected at this 401, 402 area, and we just kind of consolidate for the rest of the day, I will still be okay with that as long as we don't come into 401, immediately get rejected and see the future start to pull in drastically. If the future start to pull in drastically at around 401, 402 and a half, or 401, 401 and a half, and they start to pull in drastically, go down 50, 80, 100 points, 150 points, that's when all my chips will come off the table and I will look to, as a scalper, start taking some of these moves off the high and short them into rising support. Again, we have to look at the stocks that have been extremely strong. The stocks that started this whole rally, the semiconductors, NVIDIA started this whole rally. Um, Facebook started this whole rally going way back when Microsoft started this rally going way back when. So if we're going to put in this new leg higher and test all time highs very soon, which I personally think that we're going to do, you're going to want to stay on these stocks that have had these monster monster moves because these are the stocks that are going to be leading us through the way. So my top watch for tomorrow, uh, AMD, NVIDIA, uh, Apple, uh, Microsoft, those are the three, four stocks that I'm gonna be watching along with the triple Qs. Nothing else really concerns me. Tesla looks nice, but I wanna see Tesla start testing some of these higher levels. I think the big leg up on Tesla is gonna come over that 1200 retest. Um, so I'm gonna kinda of let it do its thing. Also sympathy plays in the semiconductor space that I'm gonna have my eye on, AMAT and QCOM. So those three to five stocks is the only stocks that I'm going to be watching tomorrow. That sector or that industry is hot. The semiconductors are hot. They're what led us through first time. And they could possibly be doing it again. But let's keep an eye on that 401 and a half, 402 area on the triple Qs. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Guys, also, if you watch to the end of this video, please join my Discord. That's down in the description box below. You can find the link there. Also, Check out my website, evolutiontraders.com. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, drop me a comment, let me know what you guys traded today, and I will catch you guys all on the next video.